An Air Force weather balloon rises slowly to the outer edge of Earth's atmosphere, while hovering in space directly above it is a rocket ship from Deimos, a Martian moon inhabited by an ambitious warlike people determined to conquer the planet Earth. Haven't we seen somebody from Deimos before? At this moment, hovering in space a hundred miles above Cape Kennedy is a giant rocket ship from the Martian moon, Deimos. I thought so. They've upgraded their ships, apparently. They've upgraded, I guess, their look, too. Or else they're all big fans of Garnet. Everything I said about Deimos there still applies, so I won't repeat it. Why we're repeating places of origin for these aliens is somebody else's department. Metal Marauder test model ready for release, sir. Activate electromagnetizer. If this prototype performs as anticipated, we shall render Earth helpless with 10,000 like it. You can't blame them for wanting to relocate to Earth from Deimos. If the population is more than about 25, they have a serious overcrowding problem. And their own host planet Mars is kind of cold this time of eon. Remember, we're supposed to take this thing seriously. Ignore the fact that it looks like something Mr. Spacely would use to send a memo to George Jetson. Hold activation until Marauder is well away from us. It's nearing the weather balloon. Activate now. Especially when it can do that. It moves along and does the same thing to a fighter jet. Clark Kent has to excuse himself from whatever he and Lois are doing to go rescue the pilot. This airplane feels like soft rubber. That would explain why it's not very aerodynamic. Our little gadget has moved on. There it is, on that locomotive. Down! Oh, too late. It just killed at least two people, maybe three. There would be an engineer, a fireman, and possibly a stoker on that locomotive, depending on what it's burning. I'd say that qualifies as an invasion. Oh, great galaxy. What terrific magnetic power. He can pick up that crane with two fingers, but he can't hold that thing back. That don't make no sense at all. Now, to the bottom of the river for you. Hey, Superman, the river is that way. Look, the Earthman has hurled our marauder into the sky. It is unbelievable. Activate gyro stabilizers quickly. Next stop? A bridge that Lois Lane just happens to be on. It was bad enough that they put the whole world in peril, but now it's personal, dadgummit. Well, there's your problem right there. You're driving clear up on the suspension cables instead of down on the road. Now, how'd you ever manage to get up there? How smoothly the magnetic self-assembly worked. Splendid. The perfect execution of the self-assembly maneuver. You know what? I'm okay with them conquering the Earth as long as they teach me how to fix my busted parts like that. Lois has climbed the nearby forest ranger tower looking for a phone. Hope I can see what Superman does to that thing. There it is. It, good heavens. It, it's coming toward me. I wouldn't worry too much. It works on magnetism, and in the 60s, those towers were made of wood. <laughs> Better get off here and fast. Good heavens! That's what I get for relying on my early teenage memory. I forgot they were made out of magnetic wood. Help! Did you ever wonder what that feels like for Lois? Help, Super! Oh! My car! Now it's gone too far. Time for Superman to stop fiddling around with this thing. Wait here, Miss Lane. I'm gonna carry this gadget into space personally, and attach it to a metallic meteor. I have a feeling we know just the one. Ah, it's the Demotians at it again. Well, I'll give them a taste of their own magnetic medicine, like this. The Marauder! It is on our ship! Wait, turn off the electromagnetic power. 
I fear the Earthman has defeated us with our own weapon. At least this time they won't explode. Superman will carry them back to Deimos since their ship is now the consistency of bread dough. That can happen when you create a weapon that you can't adequately control. This is the whole idea behind the concept of doomsday weapons. The original Star Trek showed us one that looked like a giant doobie. Farscape gave us one that looks like Sauron. There are lots more, but they all amount to the same thing. Some kind of power that its creators can't control, so it ends up destroying everyone, including its creators. Sort of like nuclear weapons, or especially biological weapons. You want to tell me you're going to put the Hyperborean Plague out there to destroy your enemies, but you're sure it'll stop when it gets to you? These Deimos people need something better to do than try to conquer Earth. Golf is no good. The gravity on Deimos is so weak every time they hit a ball that it'd fly into space and probably end up back here anyway. Maybe if we send them a Monopoly game but forget to include the instructions. That could keep them busy for a while. Hey friends, if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up button and let me and YouTube know it. If you're not subscribed yet, you know what to do. And remember, you can become a patron of this channel for as little as $2 a month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. He can pick up that crane with two fingers. Superman will carry them back to Deimos since the... <clears throat> ...to destroy your enemies, but you're sure it won't stop when it gets... But you're sure it will stop.